we got a new camera. Do we look pretty? Do we look do we look so much prettier now? And I got a microphone. What? We're real YouTubers now. I guess. <laughs> Welcome to our stupid reactions. Aren't we pretty? Uh, today we're doing a movie review of the new film that just came out that, uh, on Z5. Interestingly, part of the title, you can say it the same way forward and backward. Did you know that, Corbin? Bob. Oh, I thought you were saying Bishwa. No, no what? I said part of the okay, title. Part, part of the title. Part okay. of the title. Bob, that's true. Bob, Bob backwards is Bob. Bob backwards is Bob. Uh, but Bob Bish Bishwa. Yes. How would you actually say Bishwa. it? Bishwa. Bob Bishash. Bishash. Bob Bishash. Bish that doesn't make any sense. Not none Bob whatsoever. Bish I mean, that's the thing. You just don't. You just don't oh, pronounce yeah. W. Which is weird because this is this is. They say Bishwas. Well, it's it's it's. They it, said it, it like it? you in the film. Is what they yeah, said. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Yeah, anyways. Uh, but yes, it's a new 2021 film uh, directed by Ardosti's daughter. I believe it's her director. It is her debut. It, it's her directorial uh, debut. Dia. Jo. Gosh. Gosh. Sujoy Gosh. Because I always say Sujoy Josh. Yeah. And it's no, Sujoy Gosh. Uh, so I, Our I dost. apologize. Our dost is daughter. Um, but Who, when we interviewed him, he talked about it. He said, I'm, I can't, he, you know, we didn't have the details, but knew she was working on her first film and he was helping yeah. writing it. Mm. Uh, it's written by uh, Sujoy, Sujoy Gosh. and Raj Vasant, right? Yes. And produced by Our Dost. Uh, composed by. Uh, oh, he's not there. Sorry. Uh, cinematography oh, yeah. was... I Why is there no credit in there for I'm sure score? Could, I'm sure I could figure it out. But anyways, starring Abhishek Bakchan. Abhishek Bakchan! And um, a uh, few other... Shitkandra Singh. Yes. And then a few other uh, supporting actors as well. Since it's new, just came out, we'll do a little bit of non -story. Saw it on Z. Yeah, saw it on Z5. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Uh, but yeah, we saw it. Um, and since new films... We like to do a little non-spoiler because there might be people that haven't seen it yet. Correct. Obviously, do not want to spoil. Let supposed, the movie tell the story, as opposed to all the old films that we always watch. Correct. But uh, so we'll do a little bit non-spoiler, and then we will get into the spoils if you want to be spoiled. Yes. Rick, your initial thoughts. I'll give non-spoiler. Non non-spoiler initial thoughts, and I won't go too long because I have a lot to say. But we'll get into that in the body of it. Yeah. Ultimately, I liked it. Um, I found that. Um, I hope we can help you going in to see it without spoiling anything uh, because I, I think there's more to like about it than dislike. I didn't love it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I gave it like a B overall yeah. with my favorite parts of it being uh, the directing, the score, and the acting. Particularly, Abhishek did what I was hoping we, we would see him do. Yeah. It just fell into, and we'll talk about this in a moment, it fell into a, a kind of a genre and a feel that I wasn't anticipating but I did my best to not let that shape my overall feeling for the film. Because overall, I, I told Indrani she was going to watch it with me, but uh, it didn't work out with our schedule. She wound up being asleep and I watched it in the morning. Uh, that if it was on TV and we didn't have anything else, it was a rainy day and you're just looking to watch it, I, I, especially if you've seen Kahani, I would say, see this, you're probably going to enjoy it. Yeah. Uh, I definitely uh, enjoyed it. It was a mixed bag for me exactly. uh, as well. Um, there were parts that I, I really, really enjoyed. Performances, the score I thought was really, really nice. Um, directing, I thought for the most part she did. For a director debut, Big, exactly. she should be very, very, very proud, proud of this film. Yep. Uh, I definitely think everybody, it's worth a one-time watch at minimum. Um, so it's... It's it fell a little short, and it also in the writing it was a little predictable. Yeah, there was some predictability, and there were some things yeah, some, that believability that yeah. I was like, eh, yeah, you left was, a hole there. And I, I do agree, it never hit the mark. It was I don't think you can say it's a bad film. No, but it, it never hit the point of being great to me in terms of like I was like hoping for just something a little more. I don't really you can't really explain it either. I don't really know what else. I think I had a twofold expectation that I made myself toward the end of the film cuz it does I think the last act is the best part of the film. Yeah. Uh I it's very it's the least predictable per se compared to the rest of the film. Mm. Literally there were moments where oh that's and it happened yeah. and oh that's you could and basically it happened. Tell what was you could tell what was yeah. coming. But I really allowed myself toward the end to 
take away what I had previously felt. Because if you've seen Kahani, that has a very particular feel. It's, uh, well, should we get into spoilers? Yeah, we'll get into spoilers. Just go, it's definitely worth a watch. It's definitely worth watching Especially and supporting. Especially for Abhishek. Yep. Um, because I want, um, even though I probably, I probably would have wished for a little more of Ragam Ragav 2.0. Yes. However. For him. However, but that doesn't take away from his performance. No, and, and. Uh, without spoiling anything, while it's not Raman Raghav 2.0-ish, for a movie that is genre more of a kind of quirky, upbeat tempo film, there's some moments that are like, okay, dang. Yeah, that there was, right? a, there was a there's lot some, of moments okay, that were a lot of fun and a lot of like almost John Wick. Uh, yes. <laughs> fun. Fun. Uh, that, that you'll get into. That's why I said so. I, I think it's, like you said, it's mostly good, um, but it never... Gotten to the realm of being a great film. Yeah, set set genre and story kind of off to the side somewhat, and give it extra grace, and go in for, in my opinion, this order: uh, Abhishek, watching the debut, directing, and the choices she makes as a director because she makes some really good choices. Yeah, and then the score. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I do. And there, no. there was actually a bunch of really good supporting actors. There, there were, as well. there was no, there weren't any bad. No, there, weren't, there aren't any groaning moments where you're like, oh no, no. all the acting all the in acting this is really, solid really by good. everybody. So, well, once again, hats off to a rookie director being she able did a to great get job. good performances out yep. of a bunch of veterans, uh, which is... It says a lot that she helmed this, and this is a departure for Abhishek to do what we have felt he can do. So, okay, go watch it, you watch it go and watch then it. mark the time and come back. Come back. Spoilers. Yes. Um, so let's talk about Abhishek. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm <laughs> I think he did a really, really, really good job. Me too. Um, at, one, making it his own. Yeah. Because uh, obviously, I think... Probably everybody wanted the original actor to play the character. Yeah, he's, I would, he's legendary, and he made legendary. The, I mean, he made the character. He's so good in it that you get a spin-off film from a less than supporting role. I think it's like ten minutes in the original. It's a less than supporting role, but it's such an iconic character yeah. that you want more of it. Yeah, but I feel like he did a good job at making it his own. Yeah, but also there were moments that I'm like, you did your homework, buddy. He sure did. He walked. Talked, carried himself, allowed his body to shape to just become that, like the original he character. Really so did. He did his homework, and he did a fantastic. By, I think by far the best part of the film was his it's performance, to, and which is wonderful because I, I think as we know now, he he has not got the credit he deserves Agreed. as the as good of a quality of actor because one, his dad's one of the biggest stars of all time, uh, so that's a big shadow to love to, and also apparently like. Some of the his films like he'll put on good performance, but the script is not great or whatever. Right. Um, and so he's had a he's had a kind of a tough go of it. But I commend him for doing this style of performance. And also, this is not a normal in in terms of Bollywood, right? This is not a normal style of character. A lot of people probably won't like this because they'll be like, it's glorifying assassins. Right. Right. <laughs> right. He turns him into an antihero. He's an assassin. <laughs> he kills people, but you feel bad for him. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a good person. No, I actually, <laughs> after you see this, it makes you want to watch Kahani again and look at Bob and go, you know what? I don't mind you shooting that guy. I don't mind you shooting her in the head. I understand, man. Yeah. I so understand. Like, <laughs> I, I personally love films that like, I don't need it to be a good person to be your lead. In the film, just like Kabir saying, I didn't need him to be a good person right. in order to enjoy the film and also for that story to be told. Right. I don't. I prefer these style of stories, honestly, because I'm. You've seen the good person in the lead in, for their entire for the entirety of cinema. Honestly. The entirety of storytelling. You have a protagonist. You have an antagonist. You have a, a, a climax. Now we're a, getting to a resolution. We're getting to a can. sweet spot in cinema where yeah. like villains. And bad people are now getting the the forefront in films. Yeah, and I love it. I I do too because what it does is it takes the complexity of the human experience, and does you know what Shakespeare did in introducing it into the theatrical realm by showing you the complexity of the human being. It actually takes it to a completely different level now by making somebody who would previously have been say the Claudius and Hamlet. Mm -hmm. To actually become someone you're rooting for, because you don't root for Claudius and Hamlet. But I do. It, it, you would. <laughs> uh, but it, at least somebody that you could have some compassion for in ways that you ordinarily would. Are you doing all right there? I'm, I know. You're, it's you're a new camera, the, and so I'm making the sure thing, it's, thing it's working. And so, uh, yeah, I am. Um, and I'm going to say something too, because I know there'll probably be comments about it. It always comes up. But this film for me underscores there are pros and cons to nepotism, kids. Mm -hmm. This is one of the pros mm -hmm. in that you have 
a lead actor who's the son of a legend, and you have a director who is the daughter of a directorial legend. Ugh, nepotism. And there's a reason that I believe they're as good as they are, and it's because they grew up in and around this. And we've always felt that Abhishek came across as the kind of a guy that we believe did it because he has a love for this thing. Yeah. And it showed in this. I really believe that this was a departure for him for well, a lot of last reasons. Last year in Ludo as well. Exactly. And he's he is what I anticipated. I think my favorite moment, he doesn't have a bad moment, mm -hmm. but I really liked his moment in the car before she lets him out of the back of the van. Mm -hmm. um, because it was just... I'd I wonder how many takes they had, and if maybe there were a couple of takes where he didn't tear up. Because everything felt genuine. I yeah. felt like he... This could have been such a stupid caricature yeah. by a lesser actor. Yeah. And I felt like he... Did a great job. It's a testament to him, and it's also a testament to her and her directing. Yeah, so let's talk about Let's her. talk about her. I thought she did a... a, a <laughs> I do remember in our interview with our dost, um, uh, Sujoy Ghosh, uh, in case you didn't know. Yeah, if you haven't seen that, he's, watch he's, that. We've he, interviewed him. He's our dost. Uh, but when he talked about this, he was like, I think he's like, I'm so excited, but it's also incredibly stressful. I think is what he yeah. did, something along those lines, which makes sense because Absolutely. as you know, one, you're a dad, so you want your daughter to succeed and yeah. you also don't want to hover over her. Yeah. You want to give her well. freedom. You want, you're like, okay, this is your film. If you need me, that's what I assume he probably did. He's sure. like, if you need me. I'm here. I'm the producer. I'm the writer. Right. Just come to me if you need anything. But you're the director. You are the so director. You have final say. So I'm betting like it was hard for him at times to be like, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I, I bet it also has to do a lot with... And it probably was really proud at times. Yeah, their relationship in general. Because uh, assuming he had a relationship like, say, like I do with Ashley, Alexis, and Micah. Yeah. Let's say if Ashley wanted to be a director, I would absolutely want to give her everything I've got. And it, there would, I'm sure, she'd be making creative decisions... Now, if I see that she's making a blatant mistake, yeah. I'm going to say, you know, take her to the side and go, your DP should have told you this, but yeah. don't use that lens. Please <laughs> yeah. don't use that lens. Yeah. But uh, I bet he really was very standoffish. And I, one of my favorite things that I, one of the things she did, I'd love to talk to her about it too. If she didn't intend it this way, it sure came across. The quirkiness of Bob she made evident in the quirkiness of her direction. Mm -hmm. The use of music and then hard edits. Into, I loved the consistency with which she did these weird hard edits and stopped, <laughs> stopped music. Like, there's the moment... Uh, it's like this romantic moment where Bob and his wife, Mary, are... Uh, he's like, hey, you want to go to the terrace? And she says, Bob! And the music stops and someone from behind Bob goes, Bonk! <laughs> There was another great edit when there was um, a page turning, and it was yes, one and wonderful it, edit. Then it was, and it went to a different scene. I was like, I, out loud, I was like, that was that was Excellent fantastic. Edit. Yes. Um, so yeah, I thought she did a really good job with a lot of the pacing. It never felt long. No. Um, and so it the, kept moving. The pacing of it was real good. There's some like um, stuff that it, like. Like we said, the believability of certain moments. Yes. A lot of stuff was a really convenient in the story at too times. Too convenient. Yeah. And so that's probably my biggest gripe. Me too. Outside of like the overall that, feeling, I wanted maybe something a little different. Yeah, I wanted um, from the trailer and from Kahani and because of this character, I think we would be the same. We were wanting it to be more Raman Raghav 2.0 and a little yeah. bit darker and a little bit more grounded. Yeah. But I understand the commercial accessibility yeah. of not making it that way. Yeah. Um, I, I don't necessarily agree with the decision. It's part of the thing that I don't, I'm yeah. not jumping up and down happy about the film, but some of the believability things, like I was waiting till later on for them to explain something, but for someone who'd been in a coma that long, I don't know what that hospital's feeding them, but he wouldn't look like that, you know? <laughs> He'd be a bit thinner, but you can't make him too thin because it's, he's got to convey Bob. Yeah. So that believability factor, I understand the quandary they probably had. But I, I also didn't like the end when it came in full circle with Kahani. I was like, I don't think this is the same timeline. Yeah. I'm just going to be honest with you. Didn't, you I was know like, what this I was seems hoping? like years before. I, here's where I think a mistake was made in that regard. Because if this is successful, and I think it will be, I, it doesn't need to be part of awards conversations. It's not that kind of a film. But I think it's going to be popular. One, just for the names involved. Mm -hmm. yeah. But two, because it's, it's fun watching. It's worth watching. Yeah. And I, the mistake I think that was made, 
it's it was cute that they brought it full circle and you see the picture of video, right? Yeah. But what I was thinking was, let's have some sequels, man. Let's turn this into a Bob franchise. You could get a couple more films out of this and build a really deep prequel. Like a like a less athletic John Wick. Yeah, at least a trilogy. You yeah. could have at least gotten, but that's gone now because you showed the video picture. So you've got Kahani's the sequel to this. There's yeah. no, uh, I just there's no middle story anymore. I just anymore. didn't think this was like that close. Me to too. I, I was hoping was it wasn't. Later. Yeah. And you could have had a trilogy. Yeah, I didn't. So I didn't really, I didn't really want that. Also, a different part that I didn't like was. I don't know why this was the choice, but it's the choice they made. The CGI tears, I didn't. CGI tears. When Amish, Abita, uh, um, Abishek was crying in the van. Um, yeah, uh, there was CGI tears. No. Oh, it was obvious. No. Yeah. I don't think so. No, there was obvious CGI tears. Yeah. When he's crying in the van. I don't know exactly when the part was, can't remember. Uh, it's right, the time that I saw tears, it's a close up, he's leaning forward, he has his glasses on, he's bloody, and the cop is in the van with him, and he's, he, I forgot exactly what he's saying. Oh yeah, that was But it. he's talking about Mary, yeah. and then she gets out of the van when they stop, and she has let him go. Yeah, that was it. No way, those were CGI go, tears. Go back and watch it. it was, no way. It was, it was bad CGI tears too. No way. It was bad CGI I need to know the answer to that, because yeah. I believed full Go frog. back and watch it, I, I swear to you, it was CGI tears. Somebody needs to find... <laughs> We need to know the answer to yeah, this. Yeah, anyways. But if if they were CGI, I just don't understand. I was like, because you could literally put eye drops in eyes. It's a common thing that's been done for a long, long time. If you, like, if an actor can't physically cry, of course. You know, which just happened. You know, many actors can't. No. It's not, a, it's not a bad thing. No. But I just, I, I, when I saw it, if I am correct, which I do believe I am, I didn't understand that choice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I hope it's not CGI tears. <laughs> really, really hope it's just not. Just let me know. I think I'm right, because... <sighs> Or, uh, it, they look CGI if they were real, I Well, swear. we know that you need CGI tears, because you can't cry. I, no, I can make myself cry. Oh, I know that. I can I mean, make myself cry in that, a scene. Yeah, that's true. Um, but the, the, the actual crying of emotion? No, no way. Um, I don't believe it. Regardless. But yeah, that, I, didn't, I didn't understand that choice. I also didn't really like or understand the choice of letting him go. I was like, okay. This yeah, is, the believability this factor this on that like, was really low it for got, me. It got really unbelievable towards... I was expecting and was glad they followed through on two things. And again, I'm hoping you've seen the movie because we're in the spoiler zone. I was expecting and hoping for both his wife and the kid to die. Yeah, yeah, I expected so that. So when she got... When the shot happened and it hit her in the neck, I was, I was like, okay, good. This explains a lot. And in my back of my mind, I'm like... I'm hoping he turns and the kid's dead too. Yeah. Because well, we need Bob to, to really turn the page that's on That's one of those things path. I was like, this is pretty, I knew they were going to die. I was like, because yeah. he needs to go full on crazy and What I didn't know, anymore. and what, one of my favorite moments in the film, is it, it, it's kind of Shiva-esque, going back to the most recent thing oh, yeah. we've watched and liked, kind of giving too much away maybe. Um, <laughs> uh, the moment when he the very climactic moment when the guy's trying to bargain with him and he's loading up his gun, and he just empties it. Yeah. It's, I, what is it, like eight yeah. shots? Just... I, I really appreciated the gore in this. Yeah, I did too. I would have liked even more, but the fact that they were like, headshot, 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 not pulling the punch with the blood, I love that. Cause but again, believability factor. The two guys in the alley, he shoots the one in the head and the other moron just starts running at him yelling. Who would do that? Yeah. You know? Uh, but I loved, I yeah, loved the graphic. All the graphic gore. Yes. Uh, I, I, do, I could have even had more of that. Him um, moving the guy's arm before he gets in the elevator and saying sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, all the kills I thought were really, really good. Um, which one, commending for this style of film for Bollywood. It just, you don't see it a lot outside of Andrew Rod uh, True. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's the one, true. He's the one that makes these style of films. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the supporting actors, I thought the the his friend, the Chow Mein, um, uh, yeah, guy. I, when I his death was great too. Great, it was like so I'm not gonna quick. do that. Bam, <laughs> so quick. I was like, oh dang, that 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 shocked me. And so that was fun. I thought he was a good actor. Me too. Great character. The great sound effects on the breaking bones too. Mm -hmm. Good directorial choice. Wet, loud cracks. It was really bad. And then the the old man who helps him all the time. Yeah, he's a great actor. great actor. He could well, have, he, he, sure that guy's got theater background right there. He could have his own movie. Yeah, honestly. he was. Those are some of my favorite moments. Was when they were interacting mm -hmm. because you could could tell the level of 
uh, experience between them, and he had some great lines. And mm-hmm. the other person I felt like who, yeah, she she was believable. Uh, I loved every moment she was on screen. I found, and again, this is this is not an easy script to write because you have so many different threads you've got to go with. And one of the things you have to do is create the believability. Like at some point, I was wondering, has this been all like? When the, the two guys tell the doctor, you've done your job, I thought, was he really out for this long? Or are they wanting to make him think he's been out this long? So yeah. for part of the film... I didn't even know if that was his real wife. For exactly. <laughs> for part of the film, I thought, is this like born identity kind of stuff? And he really hasn't been in a coma? Mm. That all of these people, have, that there's just some weird facade going on that was a cover-up to protect him from the killings he had done? Well, it turned out he really was in a coma. It became a little more... Just again, too simple for me. Yeah. Especially in terms of the willingness and readiness of Mary in the script and the story to just get back on track. Yeah. After, I mean, I find it hard to believe. I mean, there's a lot of stories. Uh, here's a spoiler castaway where somebody is gone and they're not gone that long. But if you think they're gone, there was no, it was just like, yeah, he's been in a coma and now we're back on track. You know, but again, that's just harping on some of the smaller things that yeah. that were hard to yeah. just believe. Overall, I think it was a good film. Me too. And I think it's definitely. I give it a B. I think it's definitely worth watching. Yeah, I'd probably give it around a B minus uh, for a film. Definitely one that's I think worth watching and enjoyable, uh, and especially for Abhishek and seeing uh, Dia. I was really Dia, happy for her, her and her, her and her directing you as well and the score which you haven't talked about but I thought it was beautiful yeah and unique yeah that, that, I thought the, the score was unique I thought the score was used it seemed very obvious I could be wrong but it seemed very obvious that there was a real close collaboration between as there usually is but a real close collaboration with score editing directing everybody working really really seamlessly together and uh, th- I thought the score was just added to the fun because it's weird. It's a very strange... I think that's one of the biggest helps for somebody because going in after you've seen Kahani, I have a certain expectation based on the genre and the yeah. groundedness of everybody in that. And there's actually this real moral to the story at the end, right? Yeah. It's cinematic. It's, it's, a, it's a film. This is more a movie. Yeah. And it's not its fault that it is that. You just need to let it be its own kind of thing. Yeah. And for what it is, I think it's, it was yeah. worthy. Well, let us know what you thought about the film and what you think about the camera quality and auto quality. Yeah. <laughs> Down the